Yo, what's up? It's me. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I'm standing up, talking into the microphone. So sitting down, talking into the microphone. Big difference. I hope you guys can adjust. If you can't, fuck off. Today's video is going to be different. Today, I'm going to rant about things that I wish people would stop doing in Valorant. Specifically, uh... Well, we're gonna get into it. Uh, this is gonna be a different type of video because the video you're seeing on screen, the actual gameplay itself, uh, the audio is messed up. So I'm replacing the audio with this. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Actually, no, before we do that, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, drop a comment down below. I forgot to get the engagement up. I'm gonna be honest, the channel's dead. We're gonna try and get it back here. All right, let's get started. First thing I wish people would stop doing in Valorant is I wish they'd stop baiting. Uh, there's been so many times in Valorant, I lost count, where I say, all right, guys, let's rush A. So, round starts. I smoke because I'm Omen. Then I flash into the site because, again, I'm Omen. And then I push into the site. Maybe I get a kill. Maybe I don't. At the end of the day, however, I don't single-handedly get the site. And to my surprise, after I die, I go to spectate my teammates. And they're sitting all the way back there. They might as well just be in spawn AFK because they are contributing nothing so far to this round. And it blows my mind. Why would you bait? Baiting is bad when I'm in a 1v1 gunfight and I got three homies around the corner right there. They are so close that it's actually breaking COVID social distancing rules. They are less than six feet away from me and they're still hiding and I lose the 1v1 gunfight. Even worse, this one... This one has made it so that I only play Valorant once every three days because when I was playing every single day, my mental health went in the fucking toilet. They hide when the enemy reloads. That blows my fucking mind. So if you don't want to peek when I'm in a 1v1 for whatever reason, if you can convince me, you can convince me. There's like a 1% chance you can win me in that argument and I can be, you know what, I see your side. But at the same time, the enemy is fighting a 1v1. Imagine how hard it would be for him if... The three people that were right there peaked and started fighting him as well. Now it's a 4v1 against him. That would be way harder. But for some reason, my teammates are still hiding. But what pisses me off is when those same people hear. They audibly hear. Because I'm spectating them and I can hear it. And I'm seeing everything and I'm hearing everything they are witnessing. They hear the enemy physically take out the clip from his gun, get a new clip, put it back into his gun and ready the gun. I'm never gonna do this hand motion again, so please do not clip this and take it out of context. I should just stop doing it. Why would I Why would I keep doing that? That's so weird. But they literally hear the enemy not being able to shoot because his gun is empty, and they still hide. So stop baiting. To myself, I bait sometimes. I'm not even gonna cap. I bait sometimes and it's bad. I need to stop baiting, but my team ne teammates need to stop baiting as well. Another thing we need to stop doing in Valorant is instantly peeking when we hear the bomb being diffused. I got a big spoiler for you. Big spoiler. If you don't want to get this ending ruined, skip about five seconds. They can't diffuse in a millisecond. Spoiler alert, you cannot diffuse the spike in one millisecond. Meaning when you hear the doo -doo, they can't just be like, okay, I'm done. Round's over. They need to do the same amount you would do if you were diffusing the spike. So if it takes seven seconds for us, it takes seven seconds for them. So if you hear the doo -doo, don't just be like, yo, I'm here. I'm going to try and kill you now. And they sprint to the spike. Don't fucking do that. Wait. Be patient. It takes time. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a 4v1 in our favor turn into a 1v1 because the dude literally just went up to the spike. He's like, oh, there's a spike. I'm going to start diffusing. Taps it. And then my teammate from over there is sprinting around the corner, crosshair all fucked up. He's pan panicking. He gets absolutely clapped. This dude defusing the bombs like, well, I know you're there. I'm just going to wait for you now. You turn the corner, bam, you're dead. And then now that that guy's dead, my teammate over there is panicking. He's like, oh, shit, I need to get the trade because I don't want to bait anymore because I saw that bold chaos YouTube video. And he said, don't bait your teammates. So here I go to help my teammate. So now dude over there, no, my bad. Dude over there is like, shit, I got to peek now. So he sprints around the corner and his crosshair is all messed up because he's panicking. And then my dude goes, oh, I hear footsteps to my left. Oh, there you are, dead. And now it's a 2v1, and I'm like, well, shit, I'm still going to hide because he's obviously not defusing. He's shooting his gun, meaning he's not defusing. But, spoiler alert again, my third teammate who's behind you guys over there, uh, he's starting to panic now because he's like, well, shit, now it's a 2v1. It was just a 4v1. I need to kill this guy. He's dangerous. So my third teammate sprints around the corner, and I'm pretty sure you can guess what happens now. Last thing I'm going to say is I'm in a 1v1 and I'm going to be like, well, shit, I just lost three teammates. I'm going to sit way the fuck back here. I'm going to chill. 
This last enemy is now just dick fully erect. He's just gotten three straight kills. It is now a 1v1 for him. He's thinking about the clip for Reddit. He's thinking about how this is going to be so sick in his YouTube video. So now he's the one that's frantic. He's the one sprinting around looking for me. He's going around the map. He's not even worried about the spike at this point. He's flashing. He's smoking. He's, he's fucking twerking. I don't know. But he is looking for me. And I'm me being the one that actually knows a thing or two in life in general. I'm the one with a positive IQ here. I just hide. I literally hide and I hear this dude freaking out. I can literally hear himself in Discord going, yo, where's the last guy? Where's the last guy? I need this for my montage. Please, please. I get 20 views a video, please. So now that this dude's panicked, I simply wait to hear the bomb being diffused. I count to three in my head. I peek. The dude's either holding the diffuse because he's like, well, shit, this dude's just not going to peek. He's scared. I haven't seen him in like five seconds, so obviously he's scared. So he's just going to hold the defuse. Then I shoot him in the back because it's super easy. Or even better is when they actually still fake the diffuse, but this guy still has no clue where I am. So when I peek, I'm still looking at the back of his head because he's like, well, he's got to be this way. And then I'm the other complete opposite direction. Boom, easy kill. Oh, I'm out of breath. This has been a workout so far. Morale of the story. If you hear the bomb being diffused, don't rush. If you're rushing, then you're in a really bad spot. Don't go into that spot the next time you plan it there. That's the other thing, too. Why are you freaking out that you hear the bomb being diffused and you can't see it when you literally know where the bomb is? Like, I've seen people plant the bomb, then run, run, just run away. And then when they hear the bomb being diffused, they're so far away from the spike that there is a solid chance that if this dude is holding the diffuse, by the time my teammate gets there, it's going to be too late. So it's like, bro, where are you going? What are you doing? Other thing we need to stop doing in Valorant is we need to stop doing a pen and Teller impression when you're the shorter guy, the one who doesn't talk. That's his whole shtick. Yeah, you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be the guy that's just sitting there silently. I hate it when I get into a game and people don't talk. It's weird because it's so easy for me to hate it because you won't stop talking. It's a very fine line, but there is some people who do not talk at all and it pisses me off. I can't, you t I can't tell you how many times I've been flashed by a teammate because they didn't tell me they were flashing. They just fucking threw it out there and it got me. I can't tell you how many times I've smoked the same spot that my brimstone has smoked because I was like, hey, I'm smoking heaven. And then as I throw the smoke, my brimstone's like, hey, I'm going to fucking smoke heaven without saying anything. And it just, like, it, it just wastes the smoke. Like, talk to me, fam. If you're going to smoke heaven, let me know. Or if you want me to do it, let me know. Talk talk please i can tell you how many times where i've been like focused in trying to hold a site i hear fights going on to my right and i'm just like hey do you need me to rotate nothing no audio nothing they're not saying anything so i'm just like holding down a main i'm like okay they can't come in they can't come in and then i hear spike has been planted it's like bro do you need help or not tell me if you're like hey they're all here rotate i'm gonna be there when you need me now I'm stuck in this 1v5 because all of you died because you just can't hold a site. But not only that, but you didn't tell me shit. I can't tell you if they're all 1 HP. I don't know if they're all full health and you haven't hit them at all. I don't know where anyone is. Maybe you've only seen one guy and he took the whole site by himself. And you're like, well, uh, they're all on site. And then when I go to site, I get flanked because there's a guy actually flanking because the call it was bad. Happened to me before. So... We need to talk more. That's all I'm going to say. We need to talk. We need to communicate. I, I still do this sometimes. I'll still do it where I don't talk enough and I catch myself. And I apologize to one of my teammates. If you're watching this video, you're like, yo, what the fuck, man? You flashed me and didn't say anything. My bad, bro. Sometimes I'm in a mood. But can we just talk? Can we at least just talk? You know? If you start being cringy, if you start making moaning sounds, or if you meow into the mic, you're fucking weird. So I'm going to just mute you. But yeah, let's talk. That's all I'm going to say. The last thing the last thing I'm going to do is, uh, or the last thing I'm going to rant about is a lot. what we need to stop doing is we need to stop ignoring team composition. I can't tell you how many times I've picked Omen. So we have a smoke character. Done. We got a duelist like Reyna or Phoenix picks. I'm like, sick. All right, we got an entry fragger and we got a smoke. All we need now is like a Cypher or a Killjoy and we're set. This team comp can be anything after those three. We are good. So we have Omen and we have Phoenix. And then we get the kid that just come back. He, he just came back from his bathroom break. So he's sitting down. He's like, oh, sweet. No one's taking Jet. Click takes Jet. So now we have a Jet, Phoenix, and Omen. I'm like, you know what? This can still work. We just need a uh, Sentinel, like Sage, Cypher, Killjoy. Maybe another Brim. Maybe another Breach so we have more flashes and then we're good to go. Then my other teammate comes back from masturbating. He sits down. He says, oh, sweet. No one's taking raise. Click. So now we have three duelists and we have one guy left to pick. I'm like, all right, well, 
We have three duelists. That's cool. I'll be my only smoke character. Yo, can you go cipher for us, please? And the last guy sits down. He's like, oh, fuck. They took Jet? Fuck, man. Oh, there's Reyna still? Sick. Click. So now it's four duelists and me. And I'm like, yo, like, if you aren't familiar with Cypher or Killjoy or whatever, that's fine. I got a great tip for you. Your Vandal still shoots the same. Your Phantom still shoots the same. Your Classic still shoots the same. If you're not duelisting that game, you're still going to be okay. If you're nasty with the aim, you're still going to be nasty as Cypher. You just have different abilities. That's it. So it blows my mind when people are like, well, I'm a fucking jet main, bro. I'm not going to play Sage. You play Sage. It's like, well, I picked first. So like... <sighs> If I knew you were going to be dumb about this, I would have waited, but like, I would have just assumed that, hey, we've made it to diamond this point. Like, this is hard to do. Like, this, this took me lots of games, more than I want to admit, to get to diamond. So I know that if you're here with me, you've grinded just as hard as I have, maybe even harder, so you know what we need to do, right? And people are still like, well, I'm a, I'm a, I don't even know how to play raise, so I'm going to just pick raise. I'm like, well... And we fucking lose like 13 to 2 and they're like well how, why did we lose man like because they can just fucking walk through whatever they want because we have no cypher so they're like oh look at this i can flank these guys because there's no one watching it we die every round or if we're on defense they're like well why can't we hold garage it's like well because when they fucking flash out they're not slowed down by anything anymore because we can't see them so we can't shoot so they're free bro we have no wall we got no trap lines we got nothing you know what we have? We have like nine flashes and whatever the fuck Raze does, bro. Throwing grenades for 500 damage, which is kind of sick, actually. I fucking hate Raze. Don't ignore the team composition and be surprised that we lost. There's some times where maybe a dude's smurfing and he auto locks Jet even though you already have three duelists. But he drops 50 kills, so it's fine. It, it does happen. I've watched Wardell do it countless times. I've seen the worst team comps he's ever been on. Just frag out. It's crazy. But, like, there's a good chance that we're not going to be able to replicate that success with a bad team comp because, spoiler alert, I'm not a professional Valorant player. I'm not even an amateur Valorant player. I suck. I guarantee that if you're in my elo, there's a good chance you suck, too. So, kind of need team composition, Chief. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say about today's video. I'm sweating. I'm out of breath. I got really passionate about a game I really don't play anymore. I play once every four days. I'm not even kidding. Fuck Valorant, man. This game sucks. Holy! Alright, good night everyone. Or good morning. Here it is waking up.